All right guys, I'm super excited right now because I just did some nerdy, nerdy, nerdy math stuff and it's so great. So, um, yeah, we're gonna split the screen. You're gonna see what I'm looking at. So here we go. So I figured out a way to play notes on the computer. So what we're looking at right now this slider right here can slide to be any note because a note has a certain frequency. Um, so there's an equation, a uh, math node, that if you have a sine wave you can have the sine equals 2 pi x times the frequency and each note has its own frequency. So I looked up a note frequency chart right here. You can ignore the colors for now. Um, so what we have on this one is we have 261.6, which goes to what note? Uh, C. 261.6 is the note C. 329.6 uh, is E, and 392 is G. So a C, E, G, and that makes a chord. So I knew I could play one note at a time like this. So that's playing the C. That's playing the E, and that's playing the G. It's playing all the pure tones. But if you take those sine functions for each of those notes and you add them together to get an equation that looks like this, see all this stuff added up together, then you get all those notes at the same time and you can play the chord. So that's playing a C chord. Then I thought to myself, hey, I wonder if I could make it be able to play a chord progression. In effect, getting my computer to play a praise and worship song, perhaps, whatever. So I went on a journey for the past hour and a half trying to figure this out. And guys, I figured it out. So here's what I had to do, because you're going to learn all the math stuff because I just sat here for almost two hours doing it. First what I had to do is I had to map out each of the notes that I wanted. So I grabbed my guitar and I played an E chord and in the E chord on a guitar using the six strings was an E, a B, a higher E, a G sharp, another higher B, and another higher E. And so all of those chords, those are the yellow ones, um, for the E chord as made by a guitar. Then I did the same thing, I played a, an open B chord, those are the green notes, etc, etc. And so then what I had to do is I had to take each of those frequencies and load them to make a chord. So the A chord is in red here and it has all of its individual notes added up and so there's the A chord. Then a B chord then a C-sharp minor in blue, and then the E chord in yellow. And so then what I had to do in all this purple stuff down here is I had to create a function that's a conditional function. So when X is between 0 and 2, and the computer is interpreting that in seconds, when um, X is between 0 and 2 seconds, it will play that E chord function. Then when it's between 2 and 4 seconds, it will play, the, it'll play a B. So I've cycled this through, so, it sh so it'll go E, B, C sharp minor, A, E, B, C sharp minor, A. And I was like, this probably won't work, it'll probably be broken, but then I played the chord and it worked. So what we're gonna look at is that crazy purple function. Let me take away all these other colors. So we have crazy purple function right here and it's going to play it from zero to 16 seconds. So here is my computer playing a song. Boom. That just happened. I'm really excited. This is hilarious. Look out pre-cal. We're gonna do this in class. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I've been laughing for the past like 10 minutes after I, this happened and then I picked up my camera to show you all about it because I'm a super nerd and this is amazing. All right, enjoy.